Every day, people buy plastic things from the cafeteria, from plastic containers, Lyson cups, and things as small as toes. Only 50% of plastic use will be thrown away after one use. However, do you ever stop and think what happens to plastic? If you're thinking that it just magically goes away, you are wrong. It will most likely end up in a landfill somewhere or in the ocean. And as you may think that your actions did not impact the word, think again. Everyone in the world has at least used one piece of plastic, adding to the problem of plastic pollution. Hence, our group decided to invite a product called Kaplan. The idea of our product is because there are 8 million tons of orange residue in the world. For every orange that squeezed to make juice, about half of it is wasted. Orange peels are food waste that are highly challenging as waste. The peels have high such content and hence find potential use for the production of Kaplan. It also contains pectin, an essential source in providing biodegradable plastic strength. Kaplan provides a promising biodegradable plastic that should have less or zero harm to the environment, likely being plastic based on the changing requirements of the modern society. There are four main objectives of our product. The first one, it is easily substitute the role of almost product. Next, our purpose is to make our product to be biodegradable. Furthermore, it can help save a lot of money. Last but not least, our product does not contribute to any pollution. For this time being, I'm using orange peels as my type of material. The second step is, we need to rinse the orange peels with water. Next, we need to put the material inside a beaker and boil it. Then, add 20 grams of sodium hydroxide into the mixture. After that, we have to rinse the previous boiled peels with cold water to naturalize the pH value of the material. The fifth step for sample A, the boiled peels are blended. The sixth step for sample A, half of the paste are put on a mop. Moreover, for sample A, the fibers are left under the sun exposure until it dries. Lastly, for sample B, the blended asset space is heated together with water and tapioca starch is added. Last step for sample B, step 6 and step 7 is repeated. And here is the result of our experiment after the sample being dried. Both samples took almost 2 days to dry out. We could see a very huge difference between these two samples. The sample A that did not contain any tapioca starch is grinded and cannot be used as our base product. While sample B that contains tapioca starch is rigid and meets the criteria to be the base of our product. So, this is how our product looks like digitally and in three dimension. The second experiment we are going to determine the durability of each sample. From the data above, we could see sample B which has tapioca starch in it has better strength compared to sample A. In conclusion, the presence of starch in material influenced the rate of durability. This is sample A which did not contain any tapioca starch. It is proven that sample A is not strong enough to be the base of our product. This is sample B that contains tapioca starch. It's clear that sample B has better strength compared to sample A. It can accommodate more cost compared to sample A. Last but not least, we are going to compare the rate of decomposition. In brief, we could see that our material sample A and sample B could be decomposed in just 7 days, while plastic didn't show any changes even after 7 days. As consequence, it proved that our material is biodegradable. All things considered that sample B is the most ideal material for our product. For feature improvisation, we would like to use nanogram technology. Nanogram technology is the process of polishing which allows high accuracy of dimensions and enhances surface quality and texture. Nanogram technology can be found in city universities such as UTM Skudai. I believe our product has potential to change the world with the help of nanogram technology. This way, our product will be available in multiple industries with an affordable price.